Welcome back to Forza Motorsport and my first tutorial on this new game. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can level up your car super easily and quickly so you can get any upgrades you want for it. You can do this method with any car that you want in the game, but obviously faster cars will level up faster than slower cars just because in a faster car you'll be going around more corners in a shorter amount of time. So just keep that in mind. Anyways, head into the auto show and buy whatever car that you want. For today's video, I'm going to be using this, a Rimac Concept 2. Once you've got your car, head back to the main menu, jump into race, and then free play, and then advanced setup. Once you're in the advanced setup, you're going to want to follow these things. You're going to want it to be a circuit race around Le Mans. Specifically, you'll want the old Mulsanne circuit, the one without the chicanes on the straight. You'll see why in a second. As for the number of laps, feel free to choose as many laps as you want. In my testing, it's been about one lap for one level, so you probably want to max out around 50, but you don't need to. After that, scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll find your Drivatar settings. In here, you're just going to want to turn Drivatars off. You want to be the only car on the circuit. And once you've got those settings applied, jump on into the race and you'll arrive in the pit lane. Before you actually start driving, though, there are two more things that you're going to want to do. Number one, head over to the difficulty section. You can obviously drive on whatever difficulty you want. There are no AI. It doesn't matter. But make sure your rules are set on club rules. That way, you won't be using fuel and tires as you're driving around the circuit which is just going to make it more autonomous. And then here's the biggest thing of all. Head out of that menu and into your settings, and specifically, your driving assist. The assist you're going to want to focus on in here is your braking. You want that on fully assisted, your throttle on assisted, your steering on fully assisted, and your shifting on automatic. Make sure you've got those four things set, and then congratulations, back out of the menu, and into the race. As soon as you jump onto the circuit, you'll notice that your car is actually driving itself around the circuit. So put your controller down and just chill. While you're chilling out, feel free to check out the AR12 sticker store where you can get things like this. H had to get a blatant product plug in there. I do apologize. Anyways, I've got some tips to make this even better for you. Consider setting your laps on 20 for your first round because after those 20 laps, you'll probably be level 20, which in that case, you can then go and get some upgrades on your car and then come back out on the circuit with a faster car. And like I said at the start, the faster the car, the faster you'll level up. For this Rimac, it wasn't a great example because there's no horsepower mods for the thing. But when I was bone stock, I was doing three minutes and 38 second lap times. And with the upgrades, I'm doing three minutes and 37 second lap times. It might not sound like very much, but even a one second difference is pretty big when you're doing 50 laps. And when you're upgrading cars with a lot of upgrading room, well, then the changes are even more drastic. Sometimes you can cut off like 30 seconds a lap, maybe even more than that, depending on what car you're driving. Long story short, consider jumping out of the menu around halfway through to upgrade your car to level up even faster. Side note, the reason we're using this version of Le Mans is because in my testing, when we were driving on the other version of Le Mans, the AI kept getting confused going into those chicanes and kind of messing up the braking point and smashing right into the wall. And if you're trying to just leave your controller alone and then walk away and come back 15 minutes later, you probably don't want your car on the wall. If it works for you, great, feel free to test it. But in my testing, it wasn't going super well. Double side note, if you guys find any faster ways to level up, please let me know over on the AR12 Discord server. I would love to try out some of your methods as well to see which one works the best. And the second quick tip is even if your race isn't finished, you can actually quit the race whenever you want. You'll keep your levels and you'll keep all the credits that you've earned from doing this method. The game doesn't actually like reset you for quitting out, which is actually a really good thing. So if you're level 50 and you've still got five laps to go, just quit out of the race, jump into a new car, rinse and repeat. Enjoy. The only thing you need to watch out for is every 15 minutes, the game will pop up with a thing to say, are you still playing? If you're on PC, obviously you can set up like a hotkey or like a script to basically press a button for you randomly so the game never pops up with that screen. But if you're on Xbox like I am, maybe consider setting like a timer on your phone so you come back to the console every 15 minutes and then all you do, just press like the trigger on your controller or press the handbrake, something so the game thinks you're still there. Other than that, leave it alone, walk away, go do something else and come back every 15 minutes and you'll notice your car will be higher levels.